I hate to say it, but the beacons are still a little damp from the Lake Michigan run with Kofuzi yesterday. Nothing like getting home, everybody. Whoo! What a crazy 48 hours. Man, here goes nothing. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, everyone, we're just getting caught up uh, packing bag, unpacking bags, but I am actually going to be packing bags. I'll explain that later. And yes, we're going to talk about the next marathon. Oh, I can't wait to share. I've been holding out a little bit the last week, just like planning out the trip. So we will get to the marathon here in a bit, but first gotta go check the mail. It's been a little while, if you know what I mean, and I'm sure there's some shoes waiting there. What a gift. You all are amazing. Helping others out. This is an incredible haul. This might be the biggest yet. And I, I do promise I'll get you a date for the rescheduled next running shoe giveaway. Oh boy, not gonna fit. Hold on. And uh, I will spend whatever day, whatever day it ends up being, I will spend all day if I have to on the phone with the internet provider to make sure the internet's working fast uh, for the, on the actual day. Unlike last time, like it just it just didn't work, you know, the internet slowed down too much for some reason that night. So anyway, we will make sure it's working. I'll spend like I said, I'll spend all day, no matter what. I right, off to the oil change and then to a run. One of my favorite things to do is to be efficient in this world. So a coupon arrived for an oil change and therefore it's time to get this little car ready for a road trip. And uh, so that's what I'm up to right now. I'm gonna go for a run and get an oil change at the same time. I just love using time wisely. I'm sure many runners out there can relate because uh, running is really based on time to a certain extent, uh, whether it's racing or interval work or what have you. So, oh yeah, and of course, New Balance Beacons, second run, first impression, publishing 5 p.m. today, mountain time, my time. So stay tuned for that. And I did not publish it today because, well, I'm pretty darn tired and the flight I did, I slept probably about an hour last night uh, in the Chicago Midway Airport. So I did not get the first impression video done, but we'll get that done for you. We'll get it done. Oh yeah, beacon time, beacon time. There it is, 10 miles, hour 15, probably about 7.30, 7.40 pace, and nice steezy, that's what I call a steezy day. That's right, combining steady and easy into one word, steezy day. That's a steezy run for me, and 10 miles along the Platte River, and let's go see if that car oil change is done. And then I'm going to the grocery store, making good decisions trying to make good decisions. What I'm gonna do is open all of these. Uh, not because it's a running shoe giveaway night, but because I don't have room to store the boxes. So I gotta put these shoes on the rack that I have in the studio 
And uh, so that's what we're going to do. And then uh, I'm going to give you the date here in one minute, along with the time. And I, we're going to make it. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Okay. One second. You got the knife. Got the knife. All right. Let's just get going here. Um, basically, these are shoes for those in need, for those that just need a little help getting running shoes to get out the door. So uh, they're sent to me from folks around the world, literally around the world. And then we do the giveaways. Okay, let me get my, let me look at the calendar real quick. And we got another Hoka shoe, another trail shoe from, hold on, do I have an address here? A name? That was from a runner. I love that. That's just a runner. Oh, you're the best. You know who you are from Indiana. I think this is again, oh my goodness. This is amazing. This is from the same gentleman in Australia. I'll just say it. His name is John. John, you're amazing. All right. What's, oh, Adidas, Boston. This is awesome. This looks like the, I think this is the seven. Okay, and then a Nike box. What's it gonna be from Australia? Oh, 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 my, my, John. Look at this, the Zoom Fly 3. Wow, okay, nice shoe in the house. US size 10 for the giveaway. For those in need who need help, that's that's a nice shoe. Thank you, John, for sending that all the way from Australia. Go some more. Hoka, Hoka in the house. Here we are. The Hoka. Oh my goodness. It's a racing shoe. The Carbon Rocket. Brand new. Found that size. Let's see. Looks like a nine. Men's size nine. Zante three. Oh, that's exciting. Oh my goodness. So cool. Seth, hope you can get these to a good home. I just realized I don't really need a stability shoe. Keep being an inspiration. That's amazing. Oh, you're the best. Looks like a Saucony. Whoa, a big Saucony. Oh my goodness. What Saucony is this? The Saucony Liberty ISO. Oh my, this might be the biggest shoe we've ever gotten for a giveaway. Where is the size here? Men's size 13. Kentucky, here we go. What's it gonna be? Oh, baby. Oh, uh, it's a, oh, no, it's a surprise. Oh, the Zoom Fly. The Zoom Fly. I believe this is the Zoom Fly. Yes, the Zoom Fly in a men's size 12. So once again, Wednesday, August 31st, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. I'll make it work. I will make it work. And the reason we didn't switch over to Instagram is because not everyone has Instagram. Everyone that is obviously watching this channel watches YouTube. So that's why I didn't switch over. Uh, but I promise I will make it work. Oh my goodness. It's going to be a good night. Okay. I got to get organized here and then we're going to talk about the marathon. All right. We're here. We've arrived. We've arrived. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're keeping it a little simple tonight because I slept an hour last night in the airport after editing the vlog and then an hour on the airplane. So yeah, pretty tired, pretty tired. So I'm not going to set up all the lights in the studio. Instead, I'm going to sit here in my comfy chair, open up. This is a pair of shoes for me that arrived today from uh, UPS. And then we're going to talk about that marathon. But uh, anyway, just want to, if you're wondering why I'm not in the studio, that is why I am uh, just straight up tired and I got to sit down. You know, you know how it is. You just got to chill out sometimes. So it's like... Travel is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's busy. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I don't know how to say it. I never know how to say these, these shoe names, but I just do my best. The Hoka, Hoka in the house. Okay, man, as Kofuzi said a couple days ago, Hoka has really made 2019 a big push for a lot of different innovations with their shoes. So uh, whether it's the carbon fiber plates or... Uh, to a certain extent on the trail running side. So here we go. The Mafate from Hoka. Oh, look at that colorway. I like it a lot. The Mafate 2, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. Let me just double check that. Yes, the Mafate 2, a trail running shoe. Uh, definitely beefy. A uh, huge midsole. Oh, I'm liking this color. So I will be testing this out for you very, very... Actually, well, I'll talk to you about that tomorrow. But uh, I'll test this out 
up in the high country sooner rather than later. Very exciting. Oh man, I wonder if some of you out there own this shoe. If so, let me know down in the comments. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? Basically, for everyone that's new and there's a lot of you, I try, I'm trying to qualify for the Olympic trials which means I need to run under two hours and 19 minutes for a marathon or, oh boy, don't quote me, what is it? It's, is it 104 or 105? I don't, it's anyway, for a half marathon, it's, a, it's a quite a bit faster. So I'm going for the marathon and it's always been a dream of mine. I never thought I'd actually get the opportunity to do it, but based on some workouts I've done here at Elevation, alone at Washington Park, I think I can do it. I know I can do it, but I gotta find a race to, to attempt this marathon effort. So last spring, it's really hard to find like good US marathons that you don't need a qualifying time ahead of time or it's simply just too competitive like Chicago or New York. Um, unless you're like an elite, you can't, you know, you just toss your name in the hat. So therefore, um, I jumped, I tried to jump into the Cleveland Marathon in May and I ended up uh, getting injured. I, I had a stress reaction in my foot, learned my lesson about intensity and too much training on pavement. Uh, therefore, I was unable to race the Cleveland Marathon in May. So I have basically six months. The last opportunity would probably be Houston at the end of January, okay? Um, there's also CIM in California. There's opportunities in Europe. And after a lot of thought, and one of the, okay, one other issue that popped up uh, last training block for Cleveland was that the training block was way, too, it was just too long. Um, and that was one of the issues, like Cleveland was so late in the spring, I was looking for something earlier, but I just couldn't find anything that, so what do you want in a fast marathon? You want a flat, fast, obviously, sea level in competition. That's what I'm looking for. Therefore, I, pretty crazy, but uh, I will just say this marathon that I've decided upon is not in the United States of America. Uh, therefore, it is in Europe. That's right. It is in Europe, and it's in October. In October, and it's in 12 weeks from now. So that is a perfect training block. Like 12, a lot of the elites do 14, sometimes 16 weeks of a buildup to a big marathon. 12 weeks is perfect, and especially since I've been running now for two weeks consistently healthy with no, uh, no, uh, <laughs> I'm tired. No, what is it called? In my Phantom pain in my foot. Therefore, after Eliud Kipchoge attempts his two hour, sub two hour marathon in Vienna, Austria on October 12th. Now there's a window there. If there's bad weather on October 12th, he's gonna race uh, later. He's gonna race like a couple days later. Hopefully not too, too far later because my race is gonna be October 20th. Amsterdam, baby, the Amsterdam Marathon. The flattest from, the, based on the research I've done, well, first of all, Amsterdam, parts of Amsterdam are below sea level because of the, uh, the dams and the dikes that they've built to hold the water back, I do believe. And from based on the research, it has 60 feet of elevation gain. 60 feet, that's like the height of that house over there. So it's the, from what I understand, it's like the flattest marathon course almost in the world. I think, I know Frankfurt is really flat as well. Berlin, of course, is flat. Uh, but, so I'm excited, a lot of, uh, so what happens with Amsterdam is a lot of Ethiopians and Kenyans who are trying to make it in the marathoning world, they go to Amsterdam or Frankfurt in order to get an invitation to London and Berlin and New York City and Boston and Chicago and Tokyo. So, oh my goodness, Amsterdam it is. Keyword, actually no, we're not gonna do that because I don't want people to go into the comments. Keyword is Europe, keyword is Europe, keyword is Europe and the question of the day, can we meet up? And so I'm sorry for everyone that's in the United States and Asia and South America and Africa and everywhere else. Europeans, could we meet up in Vienna or Amsterdam? And I'm gonna lean into your expertise for uh, just places to stay and it's gonna be epic. So I'm gonna fly in for uh, Kipchoge's attempt and then just chill out, you know, do some nice relaxed running in uh, Europe for the week leading up to October 20th in Amsterdam. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching and I know 
Uh, it took a little while to get to that punchline, but um, I'm excited for this Olympic trials qualifier chase down in Europe. So, oh, you guys are the best. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Thank you for being here. Thanks for sending shoes. Thanks for getting me through that airport last night. Oh, that was rough. I can't wait to get into that bed, my own bed. So, oh, all right. And we'll be heading to the mountains very, very soon. See you tomorrow. I don't want to say goodbye. I just want to keep talking. Ah!